So you've just brought together a bunch of people to talk about the the embryonic innovation exchange. It's quite a quite a way in. Now, what what's that conversation been uh, for you? Well, we brought together third sector people, um, some online experts. Uh, and some, some policy experts to talk about the innovation exchange. Um, the innovation exchange is trying to solve a problem uh, for the third sector. They don't have the phone numbers of commissioners, uh, the incentive to work with them, or, or, or often the capacity to collaborate with the commissioners around innovation. We talk a lot about delivery, but how do we develop better services? We want to solve that problem, bring commissioners and third sector innovators together in collaborative innovation around excluded young people and independent living. Uh, people kindly came to the hub tonight um, to eat pizza, uh, drink wine and, and brainstorm and deconstruct the kind of first draft of our project plan. How do we find exciting people and how do we help them to, to develop and scale up their work? And, and so that's a big question you, you brought here with you. Are there any, uh, any things you're really taking away now uh, from, from those uh, discussions? Uh, yes. Um, I guess I'm still still processing some of it. I think one of the really helpful contributions was to remind us where this comes from. I, I suppose we are focusing on scale for a reason, because we want to make a structural intervention um, to, to put the incentives in the right place downstream, really encouraging people who, who have innovations to come to us to help to grow them. We know the third sector is teeming with great ideas. The hard bit is growing them and sustaining them. And I think tonight has challenged me to be really clear about why that focus on scale, but it's also encouraged me to be really um, unashamed about it, that in a sense people people are innovative, people do have ideas, what they need from us is helping them growing. So there's a clear innovation exchange offer emerging to, to the sector uh, that wants to have those new ideas spread and where does it go from here over the next couple of months? Well we're in, um, the, I think the, the, the first place for people to go is www.innovation-exchange.org I know that David Wilkins has got a flashy link up right now um, we're engaging in some research uh, and program of events uh, in online exchange and as much uh, stakeholder engagement as, as I, John Craig can muster uh, phone me up um, join online uh, shape our research, come to our events and most importantly of all use the Innovation Exchange as a platform for what you're already, you're already doing use it to meet new people, access new resources and to, to make your innovation uh, grow and last. And just describe for me the ideal innovator, the person out there you've got in mind who you want to reach with this project, who, who may not be watching this who may not come to you, uh, but you really want to be yeah. a beneficiary of what you do Someone in a third sector organisation any organisation from the the smallest to the largest, they may not think of themselves as particularly innovative, but they have this project which they've always been trying to invest in, but they just can't quite find enough time, and they can't quite convince their boss to let them take the risk um, to, to, to try new things. Come to us, tell us about the idea, and work with us to find other people to help you to, to generate the critical mass of resources to make it happen, um, and the, the focus on evaluation to make sure it's really sustainable. Fantastic. Thank you very much.